Hey Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and one of the things I love about the Bubble Over stamp set in the Occasions catalog is that there are so many fun things that go along with it. So there are um, there are framelits for your big shot to cut out the pieces of this. There are a designer series paper package that you can get for free during celebration. Um, and then all kinds of fun embellishments, the little epoxy things and the sequins and so forth. So the card that I'm gonna show you here is a collage stamping card. So um, sort of a collage focal point. And there are some tips and tricks for stamping with this collage layering effect. So grab your Stamps the Mail Club kit and this is the video to watch and we'll get stamping. Okay, so grab your pieces. Uh, with collage stamping, there's often lots of little pieces, so that's kind of a fun thing. Just set them aside so that they'll stay safe while we're working on other pieces. And if you're looking at this card and thinking it, it size looks just a little different than usual, that is correct. It's actually only five inches tall um, by four and a quarter inches wide, so just something to mix it up a little bit. And I'm going to start off by taking my thank you stamp from um, Bubble Over. This one has some um, greetings for just kind of all purposes and I'm going to um, do some stamping across here I'm gonna start off at an angle and stamp my thank you in a repeated way let's see I think I get about five across there then I'm going to bring it down and stamp between those to sort of create a pattern and I'm gonna go ahead and make it fall off the edge of the paper at the end and then I'm going to do let's see one more row I think down here so they have sort of a uh, three row diagonal across our card so this is a great thing to remember when you have a small stamp and you want to just make the feel of it bigger um, you can go ahead and use it that way all right so other pieces on here now I can start to layer so I have all of these pieces of paper are from the bubble and fizz um, designer series paper that you can get during celebration and I'm going to um, start to build my collage so usually when I do this I kind of put my pieces together um, layer see what I like where I'm gonna add things so we get pretty pretty much to the point where you're happy and then peel pieces off um, and layer them just a little bit at a time so I've got my base set I'm going to add my layer here, the green, with um, some Stampin' Dimensionals. I love this lemon lime twist color. Okay, so I'm gonna layer this just down below. The next piece here to go on is our um, square of the yellow, the crushed curry. And this one I'm gonna put another dimensional on up here. Oh, Daffodil Delight, I guess and add this sort of off to the side as an offset. Okay, so we're sort of building our focal point with our layers here. And then I'm gonna add one more um, strip of designer series paper. Is this fun Calypso coral pattern with the little squiggles on it. And you could even switch and use the other side if you want, but I like this extra little um, punch of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that and I can use another, why not, more Stampin' Dimensionals on here. So I'll peel those off and stick that down and there you go. I'm going to make it go kind of just across my yellow square there. Okay, so now we have a base of our layering and we're going to start adding some elements. So you can kind of piece together, see what you like. There's that. Here's some more little pieces. There's this little tiny die cut heart. Okay, so this piece right here is a little bit um, hard to see though, I find. It just kind of gets lost on the white background. So we're gonna change that. So all I'm going to do is grab a stamp here from the set. This is actually um, the label that goes with the soda bottle. So I'm gonna ink this up in Calypso Coral and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on my piece of the um, Whisper White cardstock. So now I have a really nice pretty um, color. Oh, and I have a little like hair there. So let's see. We'll flip that over and clean my stamp. Okay, make sure it's clean. I'll try that again. Some stray hairs of things. There we go. Okay, and then you can use your scissors to pull that off too. Okay, so there is our heart. So let me show you actually how this is done because there's no heart um, circle die cut in the set. But when I die cut all my pieces, so Here's the bottles and the straw and so forth that I needed for my cards. Um, I have this little heart here that I 
got for this card. There it is. And then I just used my three quarter inch circle punch and went in around the heart and punched there, which gives you that cute little medallion. And this is a great layering piece. So look at your um, look at your scraps sometimes and think about what you could use. So actually you'd need a little bit bigger. Oh, actually the three quarter inch fine is fine there. So you could have a little circle um, thumbs up there, like a little Facebook like or something. So you could remember to like my like my video, like my website, things like that. Um, anyway, so think about your scraps there sometimes and put those to good use. So I'm going to throw some adhesive on the back of that and go ahead and adhere it here off to the side and then see how much that really jumps out so much more than before. So we have this little tiny heart here which is never gonna fit on a regular dimensional. So I'm gonna grab a mini dimensional which actually might still be too big, let's see. Oh, it's perfect. And stick that down on this little die cut starburst that is included with a bubble over set. And why not? We'll just put another mini dimensional on the back of that. Woo, they are just tricky to hold on to sometimes though. And then stick that here on our circle. And then I have this fun um, bottle cap die cut, which it die cuts and it embosses at the same time. So it's a really kind of fun one. And a circle here. And I want to do this one as a star. So I'm going to ink that up in Bermuda Bay and then do some reverse stamping here. So I'm going to throw it on and then use another block to just smush it down and make sure I get a good image. And there is our star to go with our bottle cap. So, all right. We wouldn't want to go overboard with dimensional, so I'll just stick that down. <laughs> and then, yeah, but we need another dimensional here, I think. We're going to grab another dimensional and put that on the back and pop that onto our card. Oh, I have lots of these little hearts floating around. Okay, so then our star goes there. All right, so now we're not quite finished because we want to go ahead and add some embellishments. So I'm going to grab my um, storage stamp case. You can get these... Um, in, as empty cases for storage and grab some pieces here. So really whatever you want to embellish. I think, let's see, I like these green sequins. So I think I'm gonna pop some of these Tutti Frutti sequins on there. Uh, I think maybe one here and one up over there. And oh, let's put one here on the end of our, our piece of um, paper there. And then I have of course the um, clear and glitter epoxy shapes. And you can grab these with your fingernail. Um, I know a lot of people really like to grab them with their um, paper snips. Just slide your snip up underneath the dot and then stick those down in the front. So there we go. So I have a couple of those little pieces added there and, and ink on my fingernails. Big shocker there. So here is another Stamps and Mail Club project with the Bubble Over stamp set. If you haven't requested your kit yet for January, you can still do that on my website at lovenstamps.com. Uh, in the meantime, so you don't miss any videos, make sure you uh, like my or subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, watch for future postings. So I look forward to sharing some more uh, Bubble Over projects with you as well as some other projects. So. Happy stamping and thanks so much for watching.